holding tight, just take me for a ride. Shouldn't be this open. Come on now, just swallow your pride. has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it amen amen i hope you guys are doing great today i'm coming back with another grocery haul I haven't posted one in a while this one's gonna be a majority plant-based vegan grocery haul this is my first official vegan grocery haul other grocery hauls i have had vegan options in there but i've never really went Full on vegan grocery haul, whoopty whoopty whoop. And this is going to be the lazy way of going grocery shopping because your girl has busy life and she, hell, she lazy too. So, and I do not feel like going to no grocery store. So I am going to be using the Walmart grocery pickup app. No, this video is not sponsored and even if it was sponsored, I will be telling how I feel anyway. But no, this video isn't sponsored, but if they want to reach out to your girl, holla. But no, I am going to be using the app, and I'm going to show you the reason why I love using this app. Not because oh, not only is it convenient, and they bring the grocery straight to your car. <gasps> oh my god, beautiful. And you don't have any crowds, you're going to be all the heat. This is so beautiful. Um, I'm going to show you another reason why I love it. It's just, oh my god, it's super game changer. But before we get into this video... Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Yeah, just go boop, just like that. Boop. And let's get into this video. All right, here is the app. What it looks like when you just, you know, open it up. There's some things that I've ordered, like, you know, school supplies. I told y'all I did school shopping already, so they have that and just different things. Uh, the thing, the reason why I love this shopping on here, especially being a new B to vegan, when you click on something like say these graham crackers, it has all the ingredients. So I just so show more and it shows me with all the ingredients, everything that's in there. So I don't have to cruise up and down different aisles. I can just look on my app, figure out what I want and add it to my cart. And you guys, there's so many choices that you can pick from like here when I go search, as you can see, I put like, you know, had to look for my deodorant, vegan meat, like say I pick on my vegan meat that I was looking for earlier, and it has all the different selections of vegan meat and stuff like that I can choose from. Um, also they have, if you go in the department tab right here, you click on that, um, sorry if it's coming out of focus, um, you go down to specialty, specialty dietary needs and then up here they got your gluten free your paleo meat substitute I mean all the different diets even if you're not being vegan like all of them Atkins Weight Watchers like like kosher like seriously you can pick on your Weight Watchers and have different things you can pick from and like you guys it's super not the non-dairy like here you go all the choices and stuff so and I like, like I told you, click on it, tells you how much it is, what it looks like, everything, all, everything you need to know as if you are in the store going grocery shopping. And then once you're done, you can just add it to your cart and it'll, you'll show up right here in your cart. Um, and then for me here, this is some of the things that I've bought already. I mean, I need to go pick up in a little bit. This is everything that I bought and I'm going to show you what I end up getting in my grocery haul, of course. Oh, just to let you know that um, this is free to use right now. So that's as I'm filming this video, it's super free to use. I do have a coupon code in my description box where um, you receive $10 off your first purchase and so will I. So definitely if you want to try this out, tell me what you think. I'm pretty sure this it will be a game changer for y'all. There were uh, there are a lot of other like delivery places, but a lot of those charge you a delivery delivery fee and if you're cheap like me I'm like I'll save that little five dollar ten dollar whatever or a hundred dollar year delivery fee and just take my little happy butt on to the grocery store pick it up myself but the fact that this Walmart has the free to your car pickup this is not just the where you go inside and pick up your groceries no they actually come to your car and I'm gonna show you in a little bit you come you park your car all right I am so I'm gonna turn the air down because it's hot y'all so 
it's like 110 degrees here um, I am sitting here waiting for my package in my package my groceries to come I had to call just to let you know if you've been waiting for a while and they haven't came there is a number well my number won't be the same as yours so I'm not gonna show you there is a number on the little signs like a little orange whatever whatever so I'm sitting here waiting for my little people because I had to call them like hello I'm here in my time slot where's my groceries and they said that it's ready they're having this problem with their phones and stuff being updated so the guy should be out very soon with my groceries so because yeah all right got the groceries all in the car now let's see what I got all right let's start with this grocery haul some of the stuff um I, they had to substitute and some stuff they did not have in the store even though it said it was online so my i'll tell you at the end of what i plan on cooking and how much everything the total is but let's just get into this huge grocery haul and show you what i got over here we're going to start over here i got some can of pinto beans just your plain can of regular pinto beans i got two cans of tomato paste they were like 70 cents a piece i got some of this uh seasoned pepper lorry seasoned pepper seasoning it looked really delicious and i cannot to try it i needed some more chili powder so i got that did you guys know these bacon bit pieces, is was it bacon pieces, are actually vegan. They have absolutely no meat. It's all soy and like smoke flavor. So I was pretty excited. Like y'all, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try these out. Also, I got some parsley and I got some red wine vinegar. A lot of these all call for a recipe I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. Oh, my seasoning dropped. Oh, anyway. Then I got two things of unsweetened coconut milk and then I got one thing of unsweetened almond milk vanilla. I don't, um, Gabby does not like coconut milk. So I got this for her so she can eat because she does not like it. She doesn't like this one, but we all like this one, so we're good. And then I also got a bag of beans, of black beans and a bag of two pound pinto beans. I know you're like, why do you get two different types of the same beans? Because these i like to just open up on the can and put it in my bowl i really don't even need to cook these because these are already ready to go for like in salads and stuff like that and these i like to cook them down and make kind of like a gravy and get some like vegan cornbread some rice and like kind of make it into like a soupy type of texture so and i like and i like a certain flavor when i make it so that's why i got these beans for that when i make it like that these are just for like quick little salads and stuff like that. Then I've never had a fresh coconut before. And so I bought it because I wanted to try it out. So that's why I got that. Then I got uh, some Dijon mustard because like I said, that's for a recipe. Y'all, y'all know that I'm like a series tea fanatic. I'm crazy about teas. They had this um, mango ginger tea and it looked absolutely delicious. So I bought it because I really wanted to try it out. Then I got some of this dark chocolate chunk bars. I'm pretty sure this is not vegan. It has honey in it. There's probably going to be like two or three items that are not vegan. Y'all forgive me. As y'all know, this is my first vegan haul. And um, I just wanted to try something. I don't know. I just, I like them. And I'm just not ready to let my honey go. So it has honey in there. So whatever, whatever. Anyway, then I got these Mott's. Um gummies and these are actually vegan they have no gluten in them i'm not gluten no gelatin in them no type of meat products so that's pretty cool then i got some raw cashews because i plan on making quite a few recipes using these um i got some strawberries some little easy cookies um some yummy cookies for the kids i got two loaves of bread which are these are vegan just to let you know and i got this thing of celery um i got two things of this minute rice um i know brown rice is probably like a better rice to actually use but i like white rice because brown rice tastes like pudding actually not pudding tastes like play-doh or clay 
Play-Doh and clay made a baby. Literally, it's disgusting. So, I'm sorry. I'm not letting go of my white rice. And be honest with you, since I'm transitioning, it's best not to, like, go all the way whole grain because your digestive system will be under attack, just to let you know. I'm not trying to get graphic, but it's, you know, you will have some serious situations. Anyway, I got some of these uh, bow tie um, pasta because that is the fourth a pasta salad that I'll be making. Rich crackers, which are vegan ding 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 whatever i'm so excited y'all and <laughs> i didn't realize all this most majority of the stuff is so vegan um they didn't have the salt vinegar vinegar chips that i wanted so they substitute for these ones i'm not too sure if they're vegan or not but i'm pretty sure they are and oh yeah these are not vegan but the other ones that i had were vegan but it's okay like i said it's in transition it's okay we live we learn and the seasoned fries, I'm pretty sure these are not vegan as well. So there, we are down to like three things that are not vegan. But per, majority of this stuff is. So, hey, whatever. Then I got these black bean cans. Like I said, going to do the same thing with the pinto beans. I like to put them in salads and make different type of stuff. And as y'all know, me and my kids eat a lot. So really, it's going to take about two or three cans of each serving every time we make it. So that's why I got so many of them. Then I got these bananas. I love to buy a whole bunch of bananas. Even though we, me and my kids probably won't even make it through like one bundle. But these two bundles, I probably will end up making some smoothies. When they, especially when they start to get ripe. Smoothies, popsicles, ice cream. There's so many fun things I can make with these bananas. And I'm so excited. Cannot wait till they're ready. Um, and it's all vegan. Woo woo. Anyway. Then I got some jalapenos. Because I like it spicy, spicy. And I also got some of this um, Welpshire's, um, I don't know if it's vegan or not, it's just so, it's like my favorite strawberry jelly. And I, I want to say that it is vegan. It is, it's all vegan, There's so this is actually okay, you can eat this. And I like it because it has no like gelatin or any of that other extra stuff, so whoop whoop. Then I got some broccoli, frozen broccoli. I bought like five bags of them because these, I can put these in size, stir fries, just all types of whole lot of whole lot of yummy yumminess. So, and those are like between broccoli and green beans. Those are the two vegetables that all my children like and we don't have to argue. So, hello. I got some tortilla chips because tortilla chips are vegan. Hello. And I got those. I got some life cereal. I'm not sure, too sure if it's vegan or not, but I'm pretty sure it is because I mean, there's no milk or eggs in it. So boom. Anyway, um, and then I got some cauliflower, frozen cauliflower, because I'll be making some little um, dishes and stuff with that. Got some fresh spinach. I did get a bag of cheese, and this cheese is for my children. Since we're all transitioning, I feel like with me giving them so much vegetables and different stuff. And new things for them to try. If you throw some cheese on it, my kids pretty much will eat anything. I don't care what it is. Broccoli, green beans, hot dogs, whatever it is you want my kids to eat. Put some cheese on a sucker and, or some ranch. Yo, my kids are eating it. Since ranch, and I didn't buy any vegan ranch, I chose the cheese. Boom, baby. Whatever. Then I got me, instead of me buying a whole bunch of avocados, I've been eating these little miniature guacamole cup things which i like so i got that got some garlic some fresh little uh cherry tomatoes i got some vegan butter yo i was so like pumped when i saw this coconut milk oh my gosh whipped cream what you guys i'm so excited cannot wait to try this y'all I don't know why, but I am just so excited to try this non-dairy coconut milk. Like, for real. I mean, coconut milk whipped cream. They had an almond milk one, and of course, I got the coconut milk. Then, I got some of these little vegan meats. I really am not a tofu eater, if you notice. I did not get any tofu or anything, because I don't do really well with soy. I gotta be very cautious of the soy products that I eat and stuff. But this is vegan 
Um, and I believe it is made out of soy, but I was going to try these for my children and see if they like them because Costco's actually have a huge bag of this, but I didn't want to spend like 20 bucks or whatever on a huge bag of this. So I decided to buy a small bag and see if my kids like them. And if they do, then I'll go to Costco's and get a big one and then they can have that, you know, once in a while or whatever with some fries, you know, whoop de whoop. Anyway. Then I got some buffalo wings because at this point I was hungry while I was scrolling and I just wanted to try them. So whatever, but guess what? It's freaking woo! Anyway, I don't know. Y'all don't mind me. And then I got some of these little, I don't know, little like looks healthy type mango, dehydrated mango thingamabobbers. So I was like, okay, whatever, looks healthy. I'm going to get it. Got some carrots because I plan on juicing. And these are my favorite. I'm not too, I'm pretty sure these are not vegan. But I don't care because these are so bomb. These are my favorite veggie burgers. I don't like a lot of different veggie burgers. And these are the only ones that I will actually eat. And they digest well and they taste yummy. And so boom, bam, booby. So that's why I bought them. And I don't know. Anyway. And then on to the next thing, I got two cans of diced tomatoes, and then I got two cans of the diced tomatoes with green chilies, and those are for two different meals, so that's why I got them. Here's another loaf of bread. I got some unsweetened applesauce because I heard that it's really good for an egg substitute, so yeah, I bought that. Then I bought, this bread is my type of bread. My kids don't really like the bread with the seeds and a whole bunch of, whole lot of, you know. But I like this type of bread. And actually, um, Dave's Killer Bread is my favorite brand of bread. It's so good. And so this was the one that I got. I like the thinly sliced because the other one can sometimes be too much bread, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I got that. Then I bought a whole bunch of different apple sauces. This, a lot of this stuff is going to be for my kids school and back to school lunches because that's literally like around the corner and it's probably after this it's probably now that this video is posted so i'm getting prepared for back to school so this is like that's why it's so much but anyway i'll talk more about that later then i got these apples this bag of apples because i don't need to explain apples because you know what they are and i got this bag of lemons because i'm going to be making stuff with the lemons Oh, but this is the whole entire grocery haul. Look at all that stuff, y'all. Alright, sorry y'all. I'm still cooling off. It's literally 110 degrees outside. And I'm still trying to cool off from being... Just coming in and out. Just bringing groceries in. It's like crazy. But anyway, I did want to let you know what I plan on cooking and how much I spent. I spent a grand total of $173, $170. Some of the stuff, as I told you before, they had to substitute and take off because they didn't have it. So I ended up making my groceries being less. But I'm not really worried about it because the stuff that they didn't have, I just can go to another store and pick it up later. It wasn't something that I really needed. It was just like some, a bag of oranges, you know, little like stuff that wasn't so major but for $170 I got a lot of stuff and a lot of this stuff will be last will last me the whole entire month which I'm really excited for like the beans the rice all that rice all those beans like the butter I mean even the frozen vegetables that I bought all that stuff is going to last me pretty much the whole entire month. So every month, all I got to do is just, I mean every month, every week, just pick up a couple little groceries and I'll be good to go. So for this week, I plan on cooking um, for breakfast. We still had oatmeal, so oatmeal is always on my list. If you guys have been following me, my grocery hauls, you already know oatmeal is always on the list. So oatmeal, pancakes, because I still can eat pancakes, which is really good. Um, and you know, and just, you know, pretty much stuff that I already have and cereal because I got milk and I already had cereal and then I just bought some live cereal. So we're pretty much good. So I'm keeping it simple. I'm not going to make this vegan transition too complicated with all the quinoa this, you know, no, we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to pretty much eat the same stuff that we eat regularly and just substitute the milk and just substitute little, you know, small stuff. So it won't be such a shock for us um and then for lunch and dinner i'm pretty much putting those two together because 
some of most of the time I'm just gonna be eating leftovers for the lunch or whatever and my kids are gonna be eating at school but I plan on make on the days that they don't have stuff that they don't want to eat I'll be making them like peanut butter and jelly that's why I bought so many breads like peanut butter and jelly peanut butter and banana and little stuff like that because I know my kids will eat those sandwiches and I don't want to start making them vegan lunches and they don't like it and they end up being hungry at school so I am uh, for them I am going to kind of still let them be like vegetarians maybe eat lunch meat here and there just because I know that this is going to be such a big shock and I'm really want to make sure that they eat properly and they're actually eating food you know so for them that's what i plan on doing i got like their little apple sauces i'm so glad that those mott's um snack what are those things called I forgot gummy little snack things are vegan because that's their favorite so they are good to go but as far as dinner and like lunch for me i'll be making some stuffed bell peppers super easy instead of me um putting in meat i'll be putting in beans there you go easy um switcher upper and then for the for the kids i'll put a little cheese on top for them to eat it because they still gonna want their cheese on top and make it the same so so i'm gonna be doing that i plan on making some alfredo i also plan on making nachos vegan nachos i uh, seen how they had this nacho sauce that i've been really wanting to try and it looks super delicious so i'll be making that i do have nutritional yeast already so that's one reason why that's one thing i did not have to buy um oh the next thing i plan on making is vegan tacos which are really easy to make vegan burritos we've already pretty much had that so i know my kids are gonna like that and uh vegan veggie bowls which are super easy and super yummy to make so my meals that i'm making are really simple nothing too crazy um and i like to make meals especially with my kids where they can choose and pick the ingredients they want to eat so instead of me making like a big casserole and i'm not too sure what veggie they like or not um, I like to do like veggie bowls where the kids and that my kids would get super excited about Ooh, you know I get to let them know ooh, which kind of ve vegetable you want to pick do you want to put broccoli in here do you want to put green beans in this bowl so they can put all the little vegetables and stuff that they like all together and eat it and it gets them involved and they like it that way so so that's pretty much what I plan on eating for the next like week or two and then by that time it's probably time for me to go back to grocery what was it go back grocery shopping or go back to my Walmart app and you know pick up my next groceries I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you want to know more about the Walmart pickup app go ahead and look in the description box I can say that I absolutely love it. Everything has its pros and its cons. The only cons that I have came across so far is, you know, the order may not be there on time. So that will be a little bit issue. And sometimes they might, in the store, they may not have what you want. And sometimes they substitute. Well, you have the option of choosing if you want them, if they, if you want them to substitute something or not. Me, I usually don't trip about the substitute because they usually end up like if, say that you ordered a big thing of rice. Like for me, I ordered a big thing of rice. They didn't have the big thing of rice, so they gave me two of the smaller ones to make the big thing of rice. So you know they'll do stuff like that, you know. But if you're very very picky and you're like, no, I don't want any substitutes, you can do that. So. Those are the two cons that I have came up across, but other than that, and that's not really bad for, in my opinion, I love it. I'll catch you guys in my next video, and as always, guys, God.